That's for floating. You see Dory on it? You're going to bring it to mommy, is that why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can play with it later. <laughs> That's scary, you ready? So we just checked in here to the, what's it called? The Westin Resort and Spa here in Whistler. And I was expecting it to be like a hotel room, but it actually turns out it's actually like a lot of the other uh, suites and resort stay places here in Whistler where you get almost like a mini apartment. So let me show you around. I'll turn the camera around for that. So as with all my other hotel room tours, we will obviously start in the bathroom. So over on the left hand side here, awkward wave in the mirror number one, really close awkward wave in the mirror too. So what you get is actually a pretty nice bathroom. So it's a pretty standard single sink deal here with the towels and the hair dryer and uh, their toiletries. Let me get that to focus. There you go. So the shampoo and conditioner comes by way of the Heavenly Spa by Weston. And that's also where you get like the body lotion and the soap and everything else. There's a decent sized soaking tub over here. And in addition to the tub, there's also a stand up shower. So you do get the bathtub and the shower. Toilet, of course. And bathrobe number one. And then we, if we head over this way, there is like a mini kitchenette, which is actually pretty well stocked. Like it's not the hugest thing in the world, but it really does have everything. So starting over here, I believe this is the dishwasher. And then if you open this up, you get a fridge and freezer, cream for your coffee, the sink, an oven and a stove and a microwave, as well as the sunbeam, sunbeam uh, coffee maker here with uh, Tazo tea and Starbucks coffee. And like a lot of other kind of vacation home kind of places in Whistler, this is like stocked like a kitchen. So there's a set of four plates, opening this one, glassware again for four people. And then opening up this one. Uh, at first I thought there was only three coffee mugs. There's one on the counter already. So four coffee mugs, four wine glasses, we open up this top one here. So it's a little dark, but you do get, you know, like soup bowls, a measuring cup, and like a colander and all that. And up here, there is a kettle, oven mitts, towels, and so forth. So yeah, there's actually, you know, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's a pretty substantial looking kitchen. So yeah, underneath here, there's still actually like Lots of pots and pans. Not a toaster oven, a toaster. Oh, sorry, toaster. What, what comes out of a toaster? <laughs> Toast. What comes out of a toaster? Toast. What comes out of a toaster? Toast. What do you put in the toaster? Bread. Coming over this way, if we open this up, I think this is a closet. A closet with no light, but uh, there is the iron and the ironing board, fire extinguisher, luggage rack, in-room safe, and bathrobe number two. So I'll close that up. So we are on what I believe is the top floor, the ninth floor. So we were treated to an extra tall ceiling with the ceiling fan. I don't know how many feet this is. What do you think, it's another 20 feet, 30 feet? I don't know. Like 20 feet. Yeah, so like it's a really high ceiling, which is really nice because you get like the double tall glass window too, which I'll get to in just a minute. So over here, there is a desk for you if you want to get some work done. Simple chair and the desk and the lamp. There is two nightstands, each with a lamp, and then the extra large uh, king size bed with their heavenly sheets and whatever they... Bed, yes. Heavenly bed that they Heavenly call it. Pillows. So over here, what I what I really liked is you know in addition to the uh, cheap Sony clock alarm, 
You also get a charge port on both nightstands. So both of them have two power outlets and two USB ports. So if you are staying here, this is actually really convenient for you to charge your phone and your tablet and your laptop and your camera and whatever else that you might have really conveniently because there's one on either on either nightstand like so. The cordless in-room phone for if you want to call the front desk or anything like that. Once upon a time, this was on, on the bed. They, came, they offer us uh, lavender oil. Lavender and chamomile. Lavender and chamomile oil to help you get to sleep at night in case the heavenly bed's not good enough to get you to sleep. <laughs> I want to hide this in my pillow. You can hide that in your pillow? Yeah. But if you hide it, how am I going to find it, Addy? Oh, no, I dropped it. Oh, no, you dropped it. Okay. I'm trying to run out of battery, so I'm gonna do this real fast. <laughs> there is a love seat here, an armchair, LG flat screen TV, fireplace. How do you see the fire? Don't touch it, it's too hot. But it's nice and cozy. Hey, Decent sized dresser to hold all your stuff. And then like I said, we are on the ninth floor, I think on the west wing they call it. And that is our view out of the window. I think that's like a small dog run if you're here with Fido, give him a place to do his business. But yeah, uh, we're literally minutes away from the uh, chairlift and gondola kind of main plaza area. There's something going on this weekend here apparently and I'm not really sure what it is, but there it is. So. We're really easy, convenient access to everything in the village. That's a quick tour of our room here at the Westin Resort and Spa in Whistler. Thanks so much for watching. There's a whole bunch of other hotel room tours from my stays around the world, from Taipei, Honolulu. And me too. And you too, in like Montreal and New York and so on. So uh, be sure to check those out on my YouTube channel. Thank you, Mom. Like comment and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.